Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 3 Lesson 2 homework. So let's get started. Number one, each cube has a value of nine. All right, so first we have unit four. So we know each cube has a value of nine and here we have one, two, three, four, five cubes. So unit four we would have um, like five nines because each cube is worth nine and we have five of them so we have five nines and for our facts we have five times nine is the same as nine times five which is 45 so our total here is 45 all right next one um here we have one two three four five six cubes so unit form, we have six nines, and that's the same as one, two, three, four, five nines plus one nine. And we're separating them like this because that one nine is, um, that one nine is isolated because it's unshaded. So we're isolating them into five and one because this is practicing our, like, um, that five facts thing we're about to do on the next page. And our answer would be 45, because 5 times 9 is 45, plus 1 times 9 is 9. And when we add 45 and 9 together, we get 54. So for our facts, we have 6 times 9, 6 9s, which is 54. But then if we swap it around, 9 times 6 is also 54. All right, next page. So here are our five facts. We have number two, there are six blades on each windmill. How many total blades are on seven windmills? All right, so let's do a tape diagram. We have seven windmills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And each are worth six. So we want to find out how many are on seven windmills. How many are there all together? So we can do, we can use five facts. One, two, three, four, five. So we take the five and we isolate it kind of. So we have five sixes, which is five times six, and that is 30. But we flop around, we can write six times five is also 30. And then here we have two left. Two times six is 12 and then 6 times 2 is also 12. So we're just switching it around so to show that we know that when we swap numbers in a multiplication sentence, we're multiplying the same things, then it's still equal. So now we have 30 and 12. So we add 30 plus 12, then we have 42, which means 7 times 6 equals 42. That means there are 42 blades on seven windmills. All right, number three, Juanita, Juanita, organizes her magazines into three equal piles. She has a total of 18 magazines. How many magazines are in each pile? All right, our tape diagram, three equal piles and there's 18 in total so we can keep on drawing until we reach 18 so we can have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so we reach 18 and they're all equal that means we have one two three four five six magazines in each pile so we have six and our total is 18. we have six times three is 18 because 18 divided by three is six so there are six magazines in each pile. Yeah. Alright, and 
number four. Marco spends $27 on some plants. Each plant costs $9. Um, how many plants does he buy? All right, tape diagram. We know that he spent a total of $27. And since each plant costs $9, we wanna find out how many plants he bought. So what we can do is keep on adding nine until we reach 27. So we know this much is nine. So we write nine under here. And if we add another nine, then nine plus nine, we have 18. And if we have another nine, eight and 18, 18 plus nine is 27. And that's our total. So that means he bought one, two, three plants. So nine times three equals 27. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. So Mark Lowe bought 3 plants. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!